Hello and welcome to my Let's Play a Star Trek Online on the PS4. I'm the Rigby82 and this is part 12 of my Delta Recruit 2021 Starfleet Engineer. We are going to undertake the next two missions here on Nimbus 3 where we're going to go and speak with the Undying and, um, and we're going to... We're going to continue our missions here. That's basically what we're going to be doing. <laughs> so we just need, we need to speak with Horace. You want information? <laughs> I've got this blind man. Must be some sort of mole for the Orion Syndicate. The guys who have those triggers you're looking for. <laughs> now, I don't know who that guy is, but someone in this town must know. The only way you're going to convince folks to help find this guy is if you show that you're not only strong enough to fight the Syndicate, but that you've got the gumption to defend us from them. <laughs> Showing some muscle around here would be a great first step. <laughs> well, you do that, and I bet someone will step forward to tell you who this mole is and where you can find your triggers. Okay, so let's accept. Do you want information? <laughs> okay. The first things first, Captain's Dog Stardate 86191.33. With the assistance of the locals in Parallel City, we have been able to locate the failure on triggers. They are being sold by the local Orion Syndicate boss, Hassan the Undying. We will travel to his stronghold and attempt to procure the triggers. Okay, so, let's get the locals on side. I'll basically beam it down some security. Support in the bar. We may not like you, but we'll s around for the whole bar. <laughs> well, that's a mighty fine gesture. Tell your patrons I'll be standing up to the syndicate. Okay, let's go and talk to Law. Now, because we're a Starfleet officer, we can get an extra piece of communication with him. Just need to remember how to do it. I mean, we find we can find out what happened to him. Um, around town are starting to talk about you. They think you're really here to turn things around, to help fight the Orion Syndicate. You're looking for the blind man, the informant for the Syndicate. You found him. I've been giving Hassan information for years, ever since that night in the desert. 
Now, I don't expect you to like me very much or even trust me, but I can still give you the information that you need. I know how to get to Hassan's stronghold. That's the only place the triggers could be, if he hasn't sold them yet. Why did you betray your people to your own syndicate? It was the only way to survive. There was a time where I wanted to bring law into this place. I fled here after the destruction of Romulus. I saw what I considered lesser species trying to govern themselves. I took it upon myself to be a peacekeeper. But in my time of need, when the Orion Syndicate came for me, no one tried to help me. No one. I was dragged through the streets of this town, and all they did was watch. That was when I gave up hope of anyone standing up to the Orion Syndicate. Until now. Why didn't you tell me all this about right earlier? I didn't know if you were actually going to help. Sure, you were strong enough to survive in the desert. But strength doesn't mean you're willing to get involved. What if you just simply bought the triggers from the Orions? Then you'd leave, and I'd be... I'd be dead. I don't know if you could... I didn't know if you could be trusted to have our best interests at heart. Okay, so this is the extra dialogue here. I'm a member of Starfleet. We would have stood against you once and again, no matter what. You say that, but I've seen other members of Starfleet turn a blind eye. Why do you think Paradise has been this way for so long? I've... We've been hurt too many times by officials claiming to be here to clean up the system only to watch them mysteriously fly off without another word. That's what happened last time. I helped a Starfleet officer who promised to stop the Orion Syndicate. But it was all a lie. He left after the Orions paid him off. And then I was nearly killed for helping him. That's when I became their insider. Tell me the officer's name and I'll make a full report about their actions. You will. He was a human named Captain Harps. I don't know where he would be now. Alright, tell me about the stronghold. Hassan is in the downship in the mountains to the east. But his stronghold is extremely <coughs> well guarded. Pirates hired by the Orions guard the mountain pass, while the Nausicans keep guard over a prison area. Please, if you are going up there, rescue the prisoners. They are poor souls from this town who the Orions decided to take, either for the slave trade or just for the pleasure of torture. You'll have to fight your way up through the mountains. But you will eventually reach their stronghold and the triggers. Good luck. I'd say people in this town are rooting for you. Just not very loudly. Thanks. Okay. That's how Captain Harbison. Always be on the lookout. There are plenty of dangers out there in this galaxy. Uh, talk about the events on Nimbus 3. That was a long time ago. I know what you did on Nimbus 3, Captain. Law told you. I expected he would eventually. Part of me was terrified that you would find out, and the rest of Mr. Me wanted to know. Yes, I took up right from the syndicate. You have to understand it was long ago. I was a Lieutenant Green out of the Academy, and all I had on Nimbus was myself and small team. I thought this was the best option. The, this way the Orions handed over their contraband and healthy payments besides. I thought hurting them financially would help more than me dying in the sand. Why haven't you gone back to help the, them yourself? I couldn't face going down there. I'm marking, I'm marking, you're marking your mark. You're making your mark, Lieutenant Commander. Great things are expected of you and I knew I, you could finish the mission, I couldn't. The people down there need someone who can help them, not rule them or use them. I knew that you had to try and find the triggers, and but I, but that you could try and help the town. I know I have no reason to expect no mercy from you, and to keep this between us. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm working hard to fix mine. Nothing like this happened since then, and I promise. 
I know you didn't mean anything, but Starfleet needs to know. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Captain Hobbs and I will be having a frank discussion on the matter. Hopefully you will have learned from your mistakes and can be better officer and commander in the future. Understood. The waiting team will make their way to the stronghold. So essentially, he just got away with it. But, still, you can report it. You can report it to Starfleet and get him told off, but... He was, I think he was the original mission giver, so... just gets reprimanded. A slap on the wrist, essentially. this game is it any good yeah it is good if you like start if you like Star Trek I mean yep definitely um, you, you've got um, different factions you can join and the main three factions are the are the Klingons um, Klingons Federation and the Romulans um, there are sub there are two sub branches as well which is the um, 20 is both from the 21st century, which is the which is the Toss era and the Discovery era. Currently, at the moment, there's a an, a, a, an event going on. So, if you you create a um, original series character, you get a, a bonus. It's a recruitment going on. But it's uh, free to play. I've got plenty of playlists on here. This is some of the old, older content from the game. This is the ground combat there we will eventually get to space again um, let's make sure prisons let's go through some prisoners just give us a nearby this will also give us a sub boss
Let's get them out of here. Yeah, you get to go around in, in space. The majority of it is space combat. Um, but they do, they do tend to make you do a lot of missions on the ground. There's my starship, the USS Conga. It will be making an appearance shortly. Get these guys out of here. You. I thought I'd be sold into slavery for sure. I'm glad Starfleet sent someone to help. Where were you being held? I made some bad bets and owed Hassan a lot of latinum. He took offense when I couldn't pay. It could have been worse. A lot of the prisoners here get sent to Hassan's stronghold. If they come back, they're so broken that they barely look like people. <sighs> and the bite marks. I owe you. Sorry I don't have any money. Don't worry, the syndicate will be stopped. We should have got the attention of the... Hmm. Should have got the attention of the warden. I don't know. I guess the warden's not going to come out to play. Let's see if the other sub-boss will turn up. When I say weaken, it basically means shoot them. I'm okay with shooting Syndicate. Free to roam in space, but you know. mm. oh guards. Okay, let's go to the courtyard then. I don't know what's going on here. I think someone's already been through here. That could be the only reason. I have plenty of playlists on my account, uh, my account on my channel, where I um, play more of the um, more of the game. So feel free to check them out.
Okay, this is another one, another transporter that is over here. We've got like an Alanchi there for a brief while. Another one of the many transporters located around the area. Okay, and let's into the stronghold. Lieutenant Commander, I received a message from Admiral Quinn regarding Captain Harverson you wish to review it. Yes, send it to me. Thank you for your message, Lieutenant Commander. Harverson's actions not only reflect poorly on himself, but also Starfleet. But I do not think it is a, he is a lost cause. Everyone makes mistakes, and now and how we choose to correct them speaks volumes. I hope that Harverson can make this a learning experience and move forward. You're a fine officer, Lieutenant Commander. Never forget the Quinn out. Okay, let's contact Horace. That's about all I can tell you. If you did what? That's that's amazing. If everything you said is true, then you're about to put a stop to Hassan the Undying. You Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. I've got it. Just don't let people know. I'm you found the location of a and Dying Stronghold. He's operating out of the path of his pleasure palace. Which in reality is a broken down old ship. That's the closest thing this place has to an underground club. Men, women, fights, legal deals, syndicate merchandise, whatever you're looking for, Hassan has it there for a price. What we want is information. Hassan sold the Phalon triggers to someone. All you need to do is convince him to tell you who, and so we can try and get them back. You want him? Now, okay, let's get into the stronghold. Ready. So this will be a little bit more ground combat and then we'll head back into space. So you get to see a little bit of space action. Recommend we start asking some questions. One of these people has to know where our sent is. Disturbance in here. Not particularly. Too messy. Screaming disturbs some of the clientele. Besides, the boss said not to kill you. Now at least. Go on in. Try not to break it. Okay. Right. See, speak with the clients and try and clientele and see if we can find her scent. I hear Hassan's got an issue with a lot of females telling him what to do, so he keeps them out of here. Only takes orders from Melanie Dion herself. Really sweet little setup, though. Makes me want one like it. Who does the fine here? Hassan has a handful of champions and a bunch of people who are money. Most of the time the fights are good. Once in a while we get someone who can't fight back. That gets messy. Do you know where I can have a right get away with a son? One of the guards by the cells is Chuck. Chuck to you. Gotta make a friendly wager on the next fight. Who are we waging on? Whoever ends up in the arena next. No thanks, I'm looking for information. Do you know where I can speak with a son? You'll have to talk to the If you like it, you'll make it. But I don't care who you are. I'm not gonna rat out the boss. Okay. 
I was going to speak with Jensen. Hey, I heard someone like you might be dropping in. What do you mean? Eyes, ears, whispers, word gets around. I assume you want to talk to the big guy. I need information about fighter on triggers. The sun's not dark. You shot your way in here. You think we wouldn't notice? He already knows who you are and what you want. You're still breathing. That means he wants something from you. Now, if you still want to talk to him, check the VIP area. He's usually there before the fight. Watch your back before you find a knife in him. This smells like a trap, and we should find the sign and get that out while we're still. I completely concur with you on that, on that viewpoint. Okay, well, before we do, let's get in this foreign, foreign particles. Kind of foreign particles lying around, and here is Hassanian dying. So, you found your way. Yes, any fighter on triggers. I want them. Yeah. Sorry. That deal's been done. I no longer have the trigger in possession. But before you ask, I don't know what the real information is. Right. It's part of the service. You're gonna tell me who it was. Do something useful. We've been transported into the arena. Get ready, sir. I think we're in the next event. The master of hounds! Can he bring our new fighters to heal? Hmm. Okay. No. This <laughs> is the answer to that question. No, you can't. From the subtropical savannah of Nuru, can the Mugatu make our fighters sweat? I need to be careful with this arena because these trap doors, they open up and it's instant death. Our 
You're a big boy, aren't you? Oh, that guy's eating. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, well, you know, we're in for a bar fight, and my tire guy is going to have to be much. Look at that Jensen tip. I hate, I'm going to shoot him. I don't have to kill everyone in here. That's a cocky bouncer at the start. escaped. But we'll change him down. So, we've downloaded Hassan's database. Not only do we have a full amount of his weapons, deals and latinum he's been bezzling from the syndicate, there's a record of here of prisoners and abductees he's been delivered to a Talshiar contact he calls One Eye. We need to find Hassan and stop him. He knows more about this about the Tower Shard and his tenants. We have everything here, Lieutenant Commander. I recommend we return to the ship. Let's go. So, now it's time for some space combat. Let's see the USS Congo in action. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. I also have some new stuff. I also have some tutorial videos as well, which I've done. Enough! I've tolerated Romulans, low lives, and scum for too long. Nimbus is a syndicate world, and that is who will remain. Everyone else should run while you can. I'm cleaning house. Lieutenant Commander, there is no way we can take on Hassan's fleet alone, and there's no other ships in range to support us. There are pirate vessels, however, and the raid and raiders who use Nimbus as a, as a way station have much to lose as we do. We can rally them on our side. We might be able to stop us and get the information we need. Okay, so this is the USS. USS. Space combat. Well, why the fuck did you say anything? Must be my tactical officer. What's the tactical? Hydrogen gas. Let's, uh, yeah. Come on, move forward. Then. should do it. We have enough ships on our side to give us some fuel. But before we engage we should take out the rest.
Welcome. Fortunately, there's nothing we can do to save these guys, they're going to die. They're not combat ships. Tactical ships. So. Um, I'm, I'm supposed to take damage. care of the main prize, Sen himself. can stop the Orion Syndicate? I'll pay for their insolence with their lives, and I'll take you to Melanie Dion in chains. Might be a long bow.
Okay. Lieutenant Commander, we have done everything we can here. We should be down to Nimbus and continue the search for the Touch Yard base. Okay. Head back down to Nimbus 3. And then that will be the end of this, of this part. Unfortunately. Being a cruiser, we we um we, we take damage, we don't like, deal damage. All right, speak of Hassan. All right, two good things to come out of this, Lieutenant Commander. Hassan's not in a position to harm anyone, any any anyone else, and we have the, his database. You're responsible for both those things, and that's very commendable. Unfortunately, we didn't achieve all of our goals. The fade on triggers are now nowhere to be found. Since the readings on your science officer took you, could mean that they were in the hands of the Remans now. What do they want with them? We can only speculate. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. <laughs> I've got it. Okay. So, um, we can do our, do our skills. Some more shields. And we towards getting more faster sector space speed, that's the only reason I'm doing that. And I'll clear out my inventory before the next part. But thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, comments are welcome, and appreciate any thumbs up. And I will see you in part 13 when we complete Wasteland and we get off this planet. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and ciao for now.